Hey, thanks for tuning in to watch today. Um, what are, I'm pretty excited. What I'm reviewing today are some uh, Anchor Soundcore Life A2 noise canceling earbuds. So um, these are them. Now I, I do have a lot of Anchor products. Um, I do really like them. I mean, I use my Liberty Neos almost every day. Um, they're great for earbuds, but they don't have noise canceling. So that's why I'm really excited to see these. Um, sometimes I do use my uh, Q20s. These are also Soundcore made by Anchor. Um, these are great. I use them. The noise canceling is great. I use them when mowing the lawn, um, when I'm in a noisy environment. I, I really like them for listening to music. Um, great bass. But um, they get hot, and, and that's where I'm really looking forward to these. I, I really want to see what the bass is, too. These are supposed to have, like, 11 millimeter drivers, which is pretty big. Um, looks like they say six mics for clear calls, 35-hour playback time, but I'm hoping to get seven or eight i just want them to last all day you know when i'm at work so we'll see how that works out um when they say 35 hours I i'm assuming they mean you know when you put them back in your charger your charger can recharge them like you know probably three or four times or something like that so anyways here they are i'm gonna go ahead and pop them open see what they look like grab a blade real quick now again i mean I've had really good luck with Soundcore products by Anchor, so I'm going to hope that these are kind of going to be on par with the rest of the stuff I've gotten. I did recently just try some other active noise canceling earbuds. Um, they are made by Aki, and they were okay. I, I honestly just didn't like the fit of them because, actually, I have them over here. Um, you know, I, I don't really like these things, you know, these little things that hang off the side. So, personal preference, um, they did work good. But personal preference, I like earbuds, so pop these open. Packaging is nice. Got some good, good weight to that. Let's see what they look like. Oh, it opens on this side. Now, hoping USB C. I thought these were USB C. Yeah, you can see that USB C. That's good. That's the only thing I didn't like about my Neos, you know. They were using the micro USB, and it's nice that these use USB C. There they are. Look at those. Wow, they're kind of funky looking. I mean, they're a little bit big with that wing on it, you know. That's kind of interesting. Hmm. We'll see how they fit. Anyways, um, this is going to be probably, uh, you guys won't see it, but I'm going to take some time and, and do a good, you know, listen to these for a while. Um, use them mowing the lawn, use them at work. I'm assuming the only, the only problem with most earbuds I have is they only connect to one device at a time. Whereas if you have like, you know, something like this, these Q20s, I can connect these to my laptop for work and my phone. So it's kind of nice to be able to switch back and forth. Generally with these, all the earbuds I've been trying, they, they connect to one device at a time. I'll, I'll let you know if these are going to be the exact same as all my previous ones, but, um, I'm kind of, big. I didn't see where it said it could connect to two devices. I'm assuming these are just going to be one device as well. Okay, so anyways, these look cool. Um, what else do you get? How do we sound? Looks like some paperwork. How to get started. I think they have an app for this or something, so you can actually have equalizer set up. Anyways, um, I'm just anxious to get started. Uh, Again, another thing I was really looking forward to, 11 millimeter drivers. I want to see what the bass sounds like with that. Um, and that's pretty much, you know, Customize EQ might be nice. But again, I want the active noise canceling and the 11 millimeter drivers. So that was my reason for purchasing these. And I paid, got them on sale. I think they were listed for like 70 something. And I paid like 55 bucks for them. So anyways, uh, I will... Go ahead and try them, and be right back. Oh, but first, I guess I'll go over. Look, look at this. That's kind of cool. They got a bunch of, you know, it's kind of packaged nice. Little, like, wingtip things for your ears. Different size. Give you, it looks like a few extras. You know, usually you get a small, a medium, and a large. It looks like you get a couple extra small, small. Um, looks like a large, and maybe an extra large. Maybe they got the mediums on, on there already, and they give you a USB cable tucked in here. So, anyways... I'll give them a 10 for packaging, you know. Doesn't get much better than that, you know. It's uh, got everything I need, well packaged, and we will try them out. Now, just in case anybody else has these uh, 
Anchor Neos. I thought I'd kind of compare it. The Neo is the one right here on the, kind of on the lower right, and the upper left is the A2. So you can kind of see just a, kind of the difference in shape. Um, you know, they're actually about the same. The Neos look a little bit thicker, but the other ones have that longer bar, so. Okay, one of the first things it did was made me update my firmware when I downloaded the software. So anyway, it's got that done. Okay, one of the things I'm playing with is it has a setting for ambient sound. And you can see you can try um, transport, indoor, outdoor. Now, I have them on and I have an air conditioner going and I cannot, I, I can hear it on the outdoor. It's, it's a weird like buzz. Indoor, kind of a deep lower tone. I don't hear it all. As soon as I hit that transport mode, I don't hear the air conditioner in the room. It's absolutely crazy. Um, the active noise canceling works really, really good. Um, I haven't played around with this app much yet, but I did listen to some music. Great. The bass was was amazing um, for earbuds. Um, the 11 millimeter drivers definitely make a difference on the bass sound. So anyways, I'm kind of excited. Right now, um, I can already tell these are going to be my favorite earbuds. Um, just with sound quality, with bass and everything. You know what, I probably should turn off that air conditioner while I'm filming this because I can't hear it, but you guys probably can on this phone, so let me kill that. Yeah, it, it's really amazing. I mean, it really kills that sound, which blew me away. Okay, one other thing that I'm really kind of liking on these so far is the equalizer. So this is a, you know, built-in equalizer settings. You know, I was just starting it with the Soundcore signature, and then I tried the different settings and everything, you know, there's like acoustic settings, um, bass booster, you know. But anyways, quite a few equalizer settings, and one thing that I do is I listen to a lot of um, audiobooks and podcasts and that type of thing, so it was nice to see they had, you know, like a podcast setting, and the actual, the one I really liked for the audiobooks, the one I'm listening to right now, was just the equalizer for spoken word. So, anyways, it, it really, really helped with the clarity on... Um, listening to you know an audiobook and stuff so I don't know if anybody on here else is you know kind of in the same boat where you know sometimes you don't want all that bass and stuff in your audiobook and it kind of detracts from what you're trying to listen to so anyways another kind of great feature from the app I thought so just wanted to mention that um I'll go ahead and I got to test the battery life on these see if I can you know get through the I think I read up on it they say seven hours so I want to see if I can go seven hours tomorrow at work you know um, I'm pretty much going to try to use them for all my conference calls, make sure everybody, you know, make sure I sound clear and everything and see how, see how they go. And, uh, anyways, so far, you know, these little things are, are amazing. Hi, I just pulled that out of the ear, kind of deformed. Um, yeah, they, the, the sound quality is really, really good. So, anyways, like I showed, they weren't much bigger than the Neos. But um, the sound quality is a huge difference. I mean, these these are are really good, especially when it comes to that bass. So, anyways, uh, let me check the battery quality and get back. Okay, I've used these for a while, and um, kind of just gonna give a, a quick review after use. One thing is they fit great. Um, they felt really comfortable in the ears. I really like that. Um, the active noise canceling was amazing. But now when it comes to battery life, I, I saw they said it was like seven hours or something, but um, I got uh, with, a, with an absolute full charge overnight and then using them from work, I got five hours and about 20 minutes. And that was with um, the active noise canceling on the whole time. So I had basically, I had the, uh, had it set to transport the whole time. And so I was doing active noise canceling. So maybe that uses a little bit more of the battery. Um, than not so but anyways five hours and 20 minutes was still still pretty good to me um you can put it back in and get a quick charge and get quite a bit out of it i didn't time it after you know they say like you can charge it for like 10 minutes and get like a bunch of time but um i didn't take any calculations there but anyways uh for me with a full charge i got five hours and 20 minutes now um there was another peculiarity which i thought was kind of interesting and that is as soon as you open up the case they connect. So they were connected to my phone. And then when the case is shut, they, they disconnect. 
I don't know if all of these were like that. For some reason, I thought my other ones were, um, I'm going to have to go back and double check it, but I thought it was I had to pull them out for them to actually connect. But this is, they actually connect when the case is open, so that was interesting. Um, what else can I say about these? Uh, the 11 millimeter drivers sounded great. Um, I would say these are probably, um, I'm just going to give it throughout like maybe an 8 out of 10. Um, there were a couple things I think they could have done better, and mainly that would be, um, I'm still wanting that headphone that can connect to two things at once, the earbuds anyways. My, now my, my Soundcore Life uh, Q20s, they connect to, I mean those are the over the over the ear headphones, they sound amazing, but um, they can connect to my laptop and to my phone at the same time, which is great, so I can be on a call, um, I can be hear my laptop dinging me because somebody's trying to get a hold of me and you know Skype or something you know so I, I like being able to connect to two things at once. Um, the earbuds, I, I only got them to connect to one thing at once, which it seems to be standard for all the earbuds I've been trying in this price range, you know. Um, so you know, I would say not perfect in that aspect, so I, I can't give them a ten out of ten. But as for the sound quality, gosh, you know maybe this, these should get a nine out of ten for me because. The sound quality was great. Um, the noise canceling was by far um, the best earbuds. Uh, you know, the, the AirPod, you know, everybody likes the, the AirPods, you know. Um, the AirPod Pros, I thought they sounded good. I mean, they sound okay. I just don't like the form factor. These fit so much more comfortable for me. The, the form factor of earbuds, I, I really like. Now, these have that little extra piece hanging off the end, so... It, it, it's a little bit different, but I didn't find that uncomfortable at all. Um, it, but it kind of resembled that long, you know, how they have that long piece hanging down. Um, I like earbuds, and, and to me, comfort-wise, I would give these easily a 9. What would I give these? I'll compromise. I'll say 8.5 out of 10. Um, and that's partly due to the cost. Now, again, these, these I, I think they retail for like... You know, it was like $75 or $79. Um, and that's kind of going off of what you see on Amazon. Um, but I paid, I think I paid like 55 bucks for them. And you, you see these go on sale a lot. So um, I don't think that'd be too hard to find at that price point again. But again, the active noise canceling to me is a big winner here. The active noise canceling and the 11 millimeter driver that, you know, I get surprisingly good bass and active noise canceling. So um, definitely, for me, money well spent. These are my new favorite earbuds, so I'll be wearing these a lot. So um, could have could have had a little bit better battery time, battery life, but with the active noise canceling, you know, I'm sure that uses up some of the juice. So I'm not going to complain too much. But yeah, 8.5, 8.5 out of 10. So, anyways, uh, if you're looking for earbuds. I'd have a hard time saying, you know, don't buy these. I mean, these are, these are great. So, um, I really don't have many downfalls on them. And I, I do like them better than my Neos, you know. And I do like them better than, uh, you know, those other... I, I tried some Aki Active Noise Canceling ones that look like AirPod Pros. Um, I, I'm an Android guy, so I tend to use more of the uh, non-Apple items, but... um. I've used some AirPod Pros, and, and they're okay, but um, honestly, I'd rather have these. These were way more comfortable to me. They fit way better in my ear, and the sound quality was amazing. I did not mow the lawn with them yet, so that's one more thing I'll need to do. And I'll, I'll post it in the comment below after I mow the lawn with them, but I expect these are going to be as good as my Life Q20s for mowing the lawn and keeping that noise out. Anyways, uh, I hope you like the review. Um, <laughs> these are great. Uh, I have nothing but... But praise for them. I mean, I kind of nitpicked a couple of the negatives, but overall, th those were, to me, those were small issues and really impressed. You know, Anchor, Soundcore, you guys did a good job here. Um, great job, whoever engineered these and made them. Um, keep it up. I hope to see some more. Thanks, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the review.